Are electric vehicles the green revolution we hoped for? It's a question that nags in the corners of our minds. Let's try and answer it in less than five minutes. The common belief is that electric vehicles, or EVs, are the greener choice, an ally in our fight against climate change. But is that really the case? In this video, we're diving beneath the surface, comparing the environmental impacts of both electric and traditional vehicles. Stay tuned as we investigate the environmental impact of EVs. Have you ever stopped to consider the real cost of our traditional gasoline-guzzling vehicles? Visualize, if you will, the huge environmental footprint left by these road beasts. They belch out a toxic cocktail of carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate chalking up a hefty bill for Mother Nature. Can you almost see the heavy smoke cloud painting our skies with a grim hue of pollution? Can you hear the silent yet alarming scream of global warming? But the damage doesn't stop at air pollution, oh no. Imagine the birth and death of these vehicles. The creation of a single car, particularly its heart, the engine, gorges on energy and precious resources like a ravenous beast. And what about the end of its life? While we can salvage and recycle parts of these iron horses, some inevitably end up in landfills. According to the Automotive Recyclers Association (ARA), around 12 million vehicles reach the end of their life cycle in the U.S. each year. Can you see the rotting car parts, slowly bleeding toxins into the earth, causing yet more environmental harm? And let's not brush off the dark side of oil, the lifeblood of these vehicles. Picture the aftermath of oil leaks and spills during the extraction, transportation and usage of petroleum products. These unfortunate incidents seep into both land and sea, leaching life from our precious ecosystems. Remember the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010? It was one of the largest environmental disasters in U.S. history. It resulted in an estimated 4.9 million barrels, 210 million gallons, of oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. Now let's turn to the realm of electric vehicles. In the sphere of electric vehicles or EVs, the environmental impacts come from a few key areas. Firstly, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the energy required to produce these vehicles. Manufacturing an electric vehicle, and more specifically, its battery, requires a significant amount of energy. This energy is often generated from non-renewable sources, which means that even before an EV hits the road, it has already had a substantial environmental footprint. Next, let's consider the source of electricity used to charge the vehicles. If the electricity comes from renewable sources like wind or solar power, then the carbon emissions from charging are virtually zero. However, if the electricity is generated from coal or natural gas, the emissions can be substantial. Therefore, the environmental impact of charging an EV can vary greatly depending on the energy mix of a particular region. Lastly, we need to think about the end of an EV's life, the disposal of used batteries. These batteries contain materials that can be harmful if not properly disposed of or recycled. However, with advances in recycling technology and regulations, the environmental impact of battery disposal can be mitigated. So, as we can see, EVs have a different set of environmental impacts compared to traditional vehicles. So, what's the final verdict on the total environmental impact of EVs? We've journeyed through the maze of facts and figures, and the consensus is this. EVs, generally speaking, are friendlier to our planet than their conventional counterparts. They emit fewer greenhouse gases and pollutants over their life cycle. However, it's crucial to remember that they're not completely devoid of environmental impact. The manufacturing process of EVs, particularly their batteries, can be resource intensive and contribute to pollution. Also, the electricity that charges them may still come from non-renewable sources, depending on where you're plugging in. So, while they're a step in the right direction, EVs are not a silver bullet solution. They are part of a broader strategy that includes renewable energy, public transportation, and of course, reducing our overall need to travel. Remember, every vehicle has an environmental impact and understanding these impacts can help us make more informed choices about the vehicles we use.